What's up guys? My name is Olivia, also known as Jetlag Liv. And if you've been here for a while, you know I'm the queen of minimalist packing and impossibly sized bags. But that's not that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is something that you can do too. There's no talent to it other than strategy. We're going to be packing three months in one carry-on. Let's get right into it. Of course, we need some uh, liquid motivation. That's good stuff. This is a Monos Carry On Plus. So this fits most airline regulations. And I'm gonna also be using some new goodies I got, which are some gorgeous travel bags, um, packing cubes from Trips. If you don't know who they are, it's Tim and Finn. They also have a YouTube channel. They're freaking awesome, I love it. They don't make travel vlogs, they make like travel documentaries. They're incredible, go give them a watch. My husband and I are going to Italy, then we're going over to the Philippines, then we're going back to Germany and Austria. Really exciting travel plans that I wanna share with you guys. But that does require two entirely separate types of clothing. Cold weather gear, warm weather gear. All in one bag. <laughs> and I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed, but I know I can do it and I know you guys can do it too. So let me break these up, break them down and show you what I'm bringing and then we'll start packing. A sweater, jean shorts, active shorts, yoga pants, active shorts, pair of jeans, and another pair of jeans, tank top, long sleeve shirt, crop top, tank top, tank top, tank top, tank top, t-shirt, 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 long sleeve, two more long sleeve UPF shirts, biker shorts, tank top. We've got some pajamas here, which could also double as lounge wear. We won't count them against the actual outfits, but I guess you could add on this t-shirt because I would wear this out, but the rest of them are just like sleep clothes. I've got some underwear here. I packed about seven pairs. No, I think there's there's eight pairs. I got a regular bra, a sports bra, and I've also got nipple pasties. And then in terms of the bikinis, I mean, I own a sunscreen business, so bikinis are important to me, so I've got more than you probably will pack. Maybe you're also a bikini-holic. I don't know, beach bums, unite. We've got and 10 swimsuits and bikinis. Then I've got a little sarong that I think is gonna be really handy. But would it also work like this? Or my, look, I'm grieving. Jury's out, jury's out. Um, but that's gonna be good too, I got a little cover up. I've got four pairs of socks. These are probably gonna, well, I also have compression socks too I'm gonna be wearing. I'll probably get a couple more. I have to do a lot of wash still. But in terms of big staple items, I think this is gonna be the bulk of it. Okay. okay, that's good stuff. Let's do bottoms first. Okay, so jeans first. I did wanna bring two pairs of jeans because they fit different. And honestly, I have the worst time with jeans. Um, like, I know you're supposed to invest and find like the perfect pair, but I just can't seem to find that perfect pair or pull the trigger. So I've got two different fits of types of jeans and I'm gonna do the rolling method. These bags are so cute and it's like a little, look at that, it looks like a, reminds me of our trip to the Grand Canyon, which is super special to me. And a, one of these, the keys here, I know with that other pair I didn't do this, but it's important to press against something and get it rolled as small as possible. Two pairs of jeans, let's do the jean shorts because those are kind of bulky. These are gonna be a must in um, in the Philippines, like just throwing on a pair of comfortable jean shorts. That's her. Then these won't take up much space. These are skinny tiny, well the fabric at least, very compressible yoga pants. These are the colorful koala yoga pants. I love them on Amazon, super cheap shorts. I want to try and get all my bottoms in here if possible. Roll those, put those in there. These should not take up much room at all. And if you're new to trying to pack small or it's a foreign concept to you, that's okay, number one. Number two, what you're going to want to do is try and find staple pieces in your closet that also can be worn with a wide variety of things. I can't really compress this. I could try, but it's just not gonna be. I'll try and compress it as much as possible. Packing cube one, done. Next up, one of my biggest containers is gonna be bikinis. So this Sahara Desert looks like a good one. <laughs> let's do it, let's try, let's see. Ah, 
I like these bags so far. I mean, they're pretty, they feel really lightweight themselves. Not much weight to them. And you can still kind of see, like, I know that the sun out is for the bikinis. And then let's try and compress it. Okay, see, these are squishy, so this is compressing pretty well. And then we're in the nitty gritty, so it's just pinch and pull. Pinch and pull. That's as much as we could get it. I mean, that's pretty good. Okay, so we're two down. That's really fat still. <laughs> we'll cross everything when we come to it. So first, you just gotta kinda chip away at it. So I'm just like, I'm trying to get as many of these things in these bags as possible, and then if there's still extra room, we'll cut down the outfits from like 500 to 200 or whatever it may be. So I'm gonna put my underwear and socks all in this bag, and you'll see there's gonna be some extra room because I still have to get those socks in. But bras are going in. Oh my gosh. Oh no! Oh man! This split! Oh wait, no, it's gone. It fixed. That was weird. No, it's splitting. It's too fat. Oh, I have another one. This. This is better. Oh my god, I'm dumb. That's for shoes. This, this size is for a pair of shoes, but I have a shoe bag, which I'll pull out. I know you guys are probably gonna ask about shoes, but... I'm bringing one pair of shoes, um, tennis shoes. Uh, they're on shoes, if you would need to know the preference that I have. I love on shoes. I'm wearing those on the plane and on the travel day, and I'll be bringing a pair of flip-flops for um, Southeast Asia. That is a great fit. There's a lot of room in that. A lot of room in that one. Okay. This is gonna be for shirts, which I seem to have a lot of shirts for some reason. Oh, by the way, I wanted to chime in. If you see me doing these rolls and you're like, that's a hack job, um, especially on these cotton shirts, the UPF ones not so much, but if you see me doing that to a cotton shirt, I always carry downy wrinkle releaser in my, either my carry-on or my toiletry bag, whatever it may be, in a little travel size bottle because I know rolling works the best for me, and if things do get wrinkled, I'll put them in the shower, like, I'll put them in the bathroom when someone's taking a hot shower and the steam will kind of release them, and I'll spray them with downy wrinkle releaser. So those are two important things to mention because I, I know a lot of people are like, girl, you're gonna be so like raunchy and wrinkly, and I'm like, I got, I got a plan. Like, I got a plan. I'm not just, like, a mess. Okay, not me realizing you guys couldn't even see the packing cubes, but these are them full. Um, yeah, they're pretty. This one is, this one needs to be reevaluated. The shirts one is jam packed, but I mean, I'm going to sweat through clothes like crazy in Southeast Asia and pants are needed because I get cold easily. As mentioned, I am a Floridian. Okay, let's pack this in the suitcase and I'll make sure you guys can actually see the suitcase and the backing cubes this time. Okay, things that are going in the suitcase that don't go in packing cubes. I've usually got one thing that I have to put in there um, and that is a reusable bag for groceries, for a day trip, for, um, let's say something happens to my personal item. Just in case, I love to bring an extra day bag, we'll call it. Another thing that's gotta go in is my puffy jacket. And you can compress these. You guys know, puffy jackets compress to like this big.
Boy, do we have room. <laughs> you see how simple this was, guys? The zipping, not the whole thing. We've done it again. You guys saw how much I was able to fit in here, and I still have room utilizing Tetris packing, rolling, and packing cubes. Those are going to be huge. I will have everything linked down below if you're interested in getting the same ones. Any will work, but I really like the patterns on those, they're super cute. And I also have a little laundry bag that I can fit. You know, I'm even impressed. <laughs> this is my video, my video concept. Wow, guys, we did it. I was gonna kiss it, but this has been through some stuff. This has been to quite a few countries. I don't wanna like, get those germs all over my face. I'd say this was a huge success. I'm super excited to take this on the road and share our adventures with you guys. So I hope you will consider subscribing and watching me style these outfits in the amazing countries we have lined up. That's all I have for you guys. As always, safe travels to you and yours. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Whee!